I'll just to quickly tell you my own story in that I do live in Greyland and I'm very interested in our community and was pretty involved with the school and various things around the place but I've always been very interested in things green and um, I just saw this tiny little sign in the local cafe about a meeting of this thing called Transition Towns. For me it just went clunk because I think it's a brilliant um, idea. So. What are transition towns? A way for us to build our own strong local communities to create a future we want to live into. Very vague, like that, do what you want, <laughs> is the other way of reading it. Um, so when I first went to the first talk about um, <clears throat> transition towns, the real thing that drove um, the original founders was peak oil. So in lay terms, we can have lots of charts like this. Um, if oil gets expensive and therefore petrol gets expensive, how do we live? And we even saw that very briefly, there was a few years back, um, oil suddenly went pricey and suddenly everyone was catching the bus around Auckland and that's really at the core of, of what Transition Towns is and of course it's you know, deeply rooted in peak oil and um, climate change but, so what I like about Transition Towns is instead of um, getting everyone into a fear mode it's into a okay let's get cracking and let's, let's do some stuff and it's very much about you know, practically um, engaging a Transition Town is a community or now Transition town doesn't have to be, could be transition suburb. We live in Greyland, for goodness sake, it's a suburb. Transition street. I hear Viv's just starting um, getting sustainable streets, which is basically a street-wide initiative going. There's transition you know, communities, areas, towns, whatever. It's just transition something. doesn't really matter. So don't be stopped by thinking, oh, we're not, we're not a town or we're not a whatever. If any of you have ever heard of AA, you'll know there's 12 steps um, to, to transition. And... The first thing that really stuck for me is these principles, which was sort of the overarching sort of way to behave, if you like. Um, and, you know, about being positive, about the way you organise yourselves, decision-making, inclusion, openness, all good stuff, enable sharing and networking. And this thing we're playing with now is this bridge to local government. But see, it's already in the, in the um, 12 steps, which I think is, is brilliant. So in the book, this is all explained um, a lot, in a lot more detail. And so the way we have it set up in Greyland is we have a steering committee, which we're now a trust, so there's a, um, and the, what we call focus groups, which are, we have um, you know, different, typical topics, food, water, energy, health, recreation, arts, currency, education, heart and soul, transportation. And so I'll talk about how we've interpreted that here in Auckland. Um, but our trust, our steering group is made up from people who are very involved in each of these um, focus groups. How do we keep going? What would be good to do as a, as a collective for transition towns in Auckland? And if you're from out of Auckland, just come along, don't worry about it. But the idea of how do we build and how do you, if you're the sort of key person in the steering group, how do we now keep going? Um, or how do you start? So we'll be advertising that to you. So please come. This, this is more of an um, overview, whereas the next session will be a more working kind of um, session and we'll all just be talking what's and all about what we've done and what's been good and what we need. Okay. Transition movement attracts people who would rather do something about the future than worry about it. What transition promotes living more simply, using less, reconnecting to our local economy and to more seasonal foods is what I would be doing anyway even if climate change proved to be no longer a problem or peak oil was solved. And for me, I think that's just totally it. I like doing this stuff. This is how I want to live regardless of what is happening in the world. I think it's a great way to live and all of the philosophy of transition towns is... So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, and then here's another. <laughs> I like this. comes from the Transition Towns book. A cheerful disclaimer. We don't know if this will work. Transition is an idea that has taken off. What we are convinced of is this. If we wait for governments, it'll be too little, too late. If we act as individuals, it'll be too little and too hard. But if we act as communities, it might just work.